How's it going? My name is Chris with RTE Welding. We're based out of Fontana, California, and right now I'm going to be featuring uh, the Gardner Denver blowers, uh, specifically the T5 series model. Uh, we've been a Gardner Denver distributor for the past five years, so we're going to go over a few um, key points to keep in mind when installing a blower and servicing one. RTE Welding here in Fontana, California. We're a Gardner Denver mobile transport distributor, and we're going to be going over uh, install T5 CDL 9L blower um, installed in the semi here. Just want to go over a few key points on what to keep in mind when you buy a blower from us or get one ser get one installed by us. So we got to make sure that we you keep that um, serviced uh, perfectly and make sure it's going to last you a long time. So uh, first key points make sure that uh, operating speed. Operating speed you want to make sure that you keep your drive line especially on this T5 somewhere between 1800 and 2000 RPM definitely do not want to exceed that or go under it. You will heat up these blowers by going too fast or going too slow. So definitely keep um, RPM speed in mind. Next thing is uh, lubrication. Uh, these bearings consist of nothing but seals and seals and bearings. So both of those need lubrication. We sell both Aeon PD oil and Aeon PD grease. Uh, food grade and non-food grade. So uh, definitely use the right oil. These these blowers tend to reach above 300 degrees sometimes, especially in over 100 degree temperatures like we get here in Southern California. So definitely make sure you use the right oil. Don't use transmission fluid oil. You leave that for your transmission. Use the right approved oil for your blower. Next is gonna be uh, relief valve. Make sure that the, the pressure that gets built in line is gonna get relief somewhere. So we recommend using uh, either a, a Kunkel or a Baco relief valve, something that's gonna be rated double CFM that you're running through the blower. We like to see over a thousand CFM in our relief valves. Definitely keep that in mind as well. We sell those as well. Um, next thing is gonna be an inline check valve. Check valve is gonna be a one-way directional check valve to make sure that the air being supplied is going to the trailer and not coming back. If it makes it back to your trailer, it's gonna wanna force its, it's gonna want to force its way back in, causing mechanical deflection, which is gonna heat your blower up and essentially wear out the bearings and seals faster. And the fifth and final thing is definitely gonna be valve control of the trailer. So you wanna make sure that the, the valve control of the manufacturer's spec is being operated correctly. Do not try to mimic your blower to, uh, to, um, to control the flow of the air, meaning that this is not a dimmable switch, it's an on and off switch. You control the airflow with these valves. So just wanted to cover a few key points with you to keep, keep in mind when you're both installing a blower and make sure and servicing it to make sure that you're gonna they're gonna last as long as possible. Once again, my name's Chris. I'm the blower technician here at, Gardner, at, at RTE Welding, and uh, we're here to take care of you.